staying motivated can take your artwork from this to this. Be sure to watch the whole video so you can see the hashtag I have in the end of the video or around the end of the video so I know that you watched the whole thing. Show me you're a true fan. Let's go. So, I wanted to make this video just because I've been doing this for so long now, and it's kind of funny. Um, I decided to do an old artwork of mine, uh, as you can currently probably see on screen right now, of Nami that I did a long time ago. Um, and before I decided to do this, it was about five months into my artwork, and I got bombed uh, by Reddit. <laughs> If you have not seen that, you can just you can just look in the comments. Oh my gosh! Um, I guess at that moment I came off a bit pretentious. I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, my artwork. Uh, there's a lot of people that were following me on Instagram at that time. And I guess there are kind of now. But I wanted to try to help them out because seeing that I've gotten so far and being a person who's never drawn before, uh, it was just really cool to finally see that it's something. Like I I can finally draw something. It's not like a stick figure and like two dots. <laughs> And spiky hair, because I love Dragon Ball Z, so I used to always just do that all the time. So, you know, to me it was really cool, and I finally got to be able to s express some art. But man, did I get roasted. I got burnt so bad. And it kind of relates to the topic of this video. I'm not usually one who's affected by words, but it was just so difficult for five seconds or so, just for, for a decent amount of time. I, I say that as a... Uh, paraphrase it was, it was at least a day or so seeing my artwork on reddit like that like i didn't expect my artwork to be great i don't expect it to be like boo, blown up but i wanted to help people or at least help people who are into my video and if you look at the video technically the stuff in there isn't bad it's just i wasn't technically applying it so that wasn't great but it just kind of hurt a little bit uh, the first comment i woke up to was you're delusional or whatever and i was just kind of like oh, okay well that's great, but you know, that's normal. People usually say some mean stuff sometimes, and then after that, it was just like, it was this whole list, and like 2,000 people were like, oh man, your art looks like a... No, 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 one was hilarious. This one was hilarious. Your art looks like Big Mouth, but anime. That one's still like one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I was I was like sitting there like, oh man, my art's terrible, but like the moment I read that, I laughed out loud. That was pretty good. That was that was dead odd. Um... Because it does, it does look like Big Mouth with anime. But anyways, uh, on that point, it was really hard at that point for me to be motivated. It just felt like I worked for, you know, a good amount of time and my art was, it didn't mean anything after all that. It was it was hugely demotivating me. Because uh, right now, I'm trying to see if I can make, uh, you know, any sort of income from this. Or if I can try to change my situation a little bit from having a side income like this with my artwork and seeing that it was just kind of like oh you know you just kind of wasted your time that's what it feels like yeah you like you wasted your time and it just it sucks when that kind of stuff happens and i had to try to focus past the fact that it just sucks like it's just as real as it's gonna get it sucks get over it try harder that's that's how my mind goes. And like, you might be emotionally upset, but you gotta try anyways. Cause if you don't try, you can't show them all when you succeed. And not, not like in a spiteful way, but just, I guess that would be spiteful. Not in a spiteful way, but just that you have shown transformation. Some person messaged me on DeviantArt recently. Um, I don't even check my DeviantArt, so it was cool to see that note. Uh, just that I've changed a bit. To the, in their opinion, since that last video or whatever, and for a while too, that was my highest video until uh, Azilan went and looked at the video I drew of her, and that was also another thing over my head that it was a higher video. So I just want to show you guys ways that I stayed motivated in kind of a harder time with my artwork. Uh, I might be an idiot for putting this out there anyways, because people, you know, people are on the internet, but who cares? Like YOLO, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I have a couple of ways I wanted to help you guys stay motivated in your artwork five ways to be exact just like the other video we're just going to do that i'm trying to highlight it uh so hopefully if there is change it's more obvious to anybody who wants to or who cared about whether or not my art would improve or not um also again i have to you have to give credit to credit for just because they're criticisms just because you don't like them you cannot 
hate on good roasts. Those there, some of them were they were beautiful. They were amazing roasts. And had it not been me, <laughs> oh man, uh, some of those are so good. I, we needed to have a video where I just read them off and and cry about it. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So five ways to stay motivated. My number one way is inspiration. Now, I'm going to have pros and cons for every one of these. It's probably going to be kind of a long video. I'm going to try not to talk too much, but I'm probably going to end up doing it anyways. But the number one way is inspirations. It's what got me drawing art in the first place. Another reason why we're doing this video is because it's about to be like 12 months since I started drawing art. And this was like the main reason I even got started. I saw Art Germs Tifa artwork. And for like the first time, I felt so motivated to do something that I have not felt motivated for like ever really I would doodle but I would never doodle well I would just sit there and like sketch when I was emotionally upset or something about like that or I would do like little squares or circles throughout a whole page and that'd be it like I couldn't draw people it was like such a hard thought to me like let me let me again to not sound so arrogant about my stuff I couldn't draw people to my level at this point um it was always just stick figures like I said earlier with the spiky hair and it, that was just about it so seeing that artwork something just clicked in me that I really wanted to be able to do that the fact that you could do that with a computer and like sit down on a drawing tablet and make fictional characters a reality is so cool to me I recently I only usually draw women I'm only usually interested in drawing women I'm just not that interested in drawing dudes I get bored um, but I just recently drew Sasuke and listening to, you know, like, Sasuke's Revenge and some other, like, hip-hop remixes with that had me so motivated. You could see, you could see the aggression and the anger on him. Like, I love that. Being able to bring stuff closer to life, like your imagination, is amazing, and it got me so inspired. The only con I can really think about is, uh, well, I guess just, I have a couple down. One of the cons is art envy. When you're kind of as far, or a little bit farther in, like, if you're, like, a month or three months in, You'll kind of notice how your art doesn't look like other people's artworks, but trust me, you just keep putting it down there and you will get better. Like, you're going to get better. You have to practice certain things. Like I said in my last video, you know, anatomy, um, you know, you want to have a focus on what you're trying to do, styles, but you shouldn't focus too heavily on styles. Um, you know, you should focus more on realism. I still have to do more of that. But it's just such a cool thing to see. Uh, so just don't let yourself become envious of not being there already. You're going to get there, and then you're going to be able to express to all of us what you see. And that's, like, the other cool part about art. Oh, my gosh, it's so so amazing. And also, it can be kind of a double-edged sword, and I guess the same thing with art envy. Looking at yourself negatively, um, you will kind of you might downplay yourself because you are drawing art. And as I just showed you, the art world can be kind of critical. Like, I, there's a lot of places I shared my art, and, again, I, I agree with them at this point. My work was no good. But I don't think I would have handled it the way that other people handled it themselves. I see artwork that isn't technically, like, great, or you can put my own in there. I don't see artwork that's technically great, but I'm not going to go on to them unless they ask me for critique. But be aware, if you are an artist and you are putting your artwork out there, it's going to get it eventually. Like, sooner or later, you might get something. Um, but don't let it deter you. Like, you're only going to get better, and usually when people are giving you critique, they're around your level or so. Some people who are higher up will give you critique, but usually they don't have time because they're drawing. So it's kind of how that goes. Um, man, I hope that didn't just come off like a slight comment. I hate, like, it always sounds so weird when you listen to someone on YouTube and they say these things out loud, but, like, the further one is recording, <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, so number two for you is, uh, you know, just self-improvement. Self-improvement is, like, one of the best ways to feel better about your artwork. Because it's so cool to see yourself improve and to see results. Like, if you just pick up an old artwork and then look at it again, it's just, it's baffling. Like, I'm let me try to put them, like, right now. Put these two images next to each other. It's so cool. Like, every time I look at it, I just, it's just, ah. Oh, and I, I, I want to look at the next image and do the exact same thing with this one. So it's just so much cooler. Like, oh my, it's so weird. For me, I, I feel like art is almost like a... It's like being Goku in Dragon Ball Z. At first, you're at Dragon Ball. You're like, you, you can barely use a Kamehameha or whatever, all that garbage. And then, like, at the end, you'll be at Dragon Ball Z Super, where you're Ultra Instinct Goku, and you're fighting Jiren like a madman. Like, 
That's what I want. I love seeing the improvement. Let me be a nerd. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. And then so for the cons, you know, it's not easy to see self-improvement when you're just starting off. I feel like it's a little bit like, kind of 50-50. Like if you practice drawing circles a ton and you're new to it, you'll probably see some sort of increase. Like it's probably going to be because you're, you've never done it before and now you're doing it. So you probably see something. But you know what I mean, I'm pretty sure. You won't see like a ton of crazy... Um, you know, difference between your artwork until like maybe like a month in and then you look back at the month and that's a huge improvement. Then it might take two months and then you see something new after practicing, you know, the essentials. But that's like, that's one of the coolest parts, man. It's, it's so cool. Now, number three goes with how my mood is right now. Having fun drawing what you enjoy. Like, that's the reason why I draw women so much more. I enjoy women. I enjoy a pretty face. I'm not so much on the drawing dudes unless it's kind of like a I don't know, like, it's, like, a fight scene or something like that. Like, I already, you can hear how much of a Dragon Ball fan I am, but, like, Naruto, I love Naruto. Um, what is it, Kenji, the most strongest disciple, something like that. That's, like, an obscure one. There's so many, so many animes I've already watched, and, like, I can't think of them while I'm videotaping anything. But, yeah, that's one of the coolest things, too, Link. Just drawing something you enjoy. Try to fit your practices into that. I, I think I got a little misinterpreted on that last one. You still want to practice with it. So if you're drawing only females, you know, you have to draw a skull, draw different body types or whatever. I need to practice more of this stuff a little bit myself. But that way, it can you can still have a good transition if you need to switch to something else. You want to be, um, oh, what is it? You want to be like a renaissance man. You want to have a bit of skills in other places as well. But I feel like you'll grow a lot further when you draw things that you enjoy. You know, it's just, it's just kind of how it works. And if you see a lot of people... Uh, I guess it's kind of on the flip side of what I'm saying, but try to fit it in in different ways. As long as you're creative, I feel like you can figure this out, but I'm not an expert, and I've already said I'm an amateur before, so i just kind of leave that be. Um, I guess the cons is, yeah, you just have to practice what you uh, don't like now and then, just to focus on it. You want to make sure you're improving. So, number four is scheduling yourself. I'm not a big person on schedules. I have, I guess, uh, Twitch now. If you're following us on Twitch, be sure to follow on Twitch. Is helping me stay on schedule. Uh, otherwise, there's not much of a schedule for myself. I get up in the morning, I try to draw something, I try to draw a pinup uh, for Patreon, or I try to draw in general to see if it's gonna be on Patreon. There's a couple of artworks you guys just haven't seen, and I just realized there's a lot of saves I have that I've just never touched. <laughs> like I, I picked them up and I've actually forgot about them. Like I'm not like ditching them. I'm just leaving them alone because like, oh, that's ugly. There's a couple of those, but. It's literally just me going, oh my gosh, when did I draw this? <laughs> it, was, it was like months ago. But yeah, no, if, if you keep yourself on a schedule, it at least keeps you training and practicing. Uh, I need to get back on my month of drawing poses from like quick pose. That's what I kept doing for a while. Um, I need to really implement hands in that because my hands are terrible and my noses are terrible. I need to... <laughs> This is like two things. Like I know there's other like people are like, oh, that's not the only terrible thing about your art. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm my, my bad. But if it's for me, like if you're gonna ask me, I cannot stand the way noses look sometimes. Like, oh my gosh, what is that snoz? Like it looks like Squidward. No, no. It's like <laughs> you have a Squidward nose. I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying I need to make it more flattering. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right. We're gonna make it more flattering. And then number five, I guess the last one, is to picture yourself fighting. Now, this is an extremely just-to-me thing. As you can hear, big Shonen fan, I love seeing artwork as a challenge. Now, I got into a little bit of trouble for this, because when I started my art, I was way too over-anxious. I kept calling everybody an art rival, and it was kind of misinterpreted, um, and for the fact that other people's cultures and other stuff like that, so I should have understood that it's not going to come off the same way to everybody, um, and maybe to watch my wording a bit better and just say I'm inspired. But, for you guys, since you guys are my fans, or you're here and you're just taking lessons, if, if that, then I guess, uh, just hear me out for five seconds. I like to like picture myself fighting when I'm doing things, because it keeps me motivated. So, like, if you picture someone like Art Germ, or like, uh, Sakimi-chan, because she's really nice, we'll, we'll go to Sakimi-chan. Picture someone like Sakimi-chan. It's like, she's like, uh, remember what I said earlier with Jiren and Goku? She's at Jiren level. You were training... To fight Jiren. Like, I don't, I, I have no way to explain it other than that. You're training to better yourself and to have that good fight. Like, not like, you know, take each other's businesses down. Like, 
all all respects to all of you fellow artists. Keep working out there. Keep doing it. I don't care if you shamelessly plug my comments. Everyone gets upset with that garbage. I don't give a crap. You're free to do that. But you want to try to make it to your rivals, to give them a good fight. Because when you fight, they improve. And when they improve, you improve. And when you improve, they improve. And there's just it can just push everybody so far with so many rivals and trying to do stuff. As long as you don't get into art envy. Right? Just make sure to keep it at, I like your style, but I'm going to do me, and we're going to see if I can get to you, versus art envy, which is, you know, just like, oh, my art's never good. It's not as good as yours, and all kind of stuff like that. You don't want to demotivate yourself. You want to try to get yourself hyped. The only issue with this is, for some people, is your imagination can be a little hard to focus like that. Uh, I'm going to say probably not. I wrote it down just because I didn't want to, you know, this was an idea of mine that might be a con. But since we're artists here, you probably all have a decent sense of you know creativity so i'm sure you probably can keep your imagination up but for new people that can be hard and then uh you know it's kind of a quick burst so you can only motivate yourself so much out of that uh, i'm starting to hit a period of sort of burnout i've i've literally almost been drawing for just <laughs> 12 months straight like i've had days off now i've definitely done that uh like five months in i didn't have one day off i don't think I had to check my Instagram, but I, I definitely posted an artwork, but was drawing an artwork every day for at least five to six months in, I think. Oh, I didn't get, like, my first three days off for, like, a while on that one. But, yeah, and then I've learned now that there's people who spend, like, well, I already knew that people spent, like, 12 hours in their artwork. But, like, watching people like Sajin on his, uh, I think that's how you say his name on his live streams go for 12 hours and I can barely go for four I'm just like freak man there's so many tier levels I don't know it just gets me so excited to see people's different skill levels and people's different interpretations of life or characters that they see and just knowing that like everyone's brain is different you all see it differently than someone else does there's always gonna be something new like arts technically not original but what you do with the pieces that you have is we can all have the same colors sitting down here, but you will always do it a little bit differently than I would. And I will always do it a little bit differently than you would. So I hope uh, this long video, because this is a long one right now, was motivating for you as an artist. That's the only reason why I really started doing this YouTube channel. I do obviously want to make a side income, yes. I want to be that guy. I'm like, oh, it's like the only reason why, guys, you know. I'm totally not making money right now buying my t-shirts, but, <laughs> you know, it, it's really cool for me to be able to be a motivation for someone else. That's, that's like, really weird and really cool to me to be able to be like, hey, man, you know, if I can take a blunt, like, you don't, you guys don't have to be on Reddit and get torn up. I have a good resistance, so I can go on Reddit, you know, be sad for a day and then get back up again. Like, as long as I can show somebody that it's not going to be as difficult and you should try it anyways, it's whatever... Failure is whatever. We're all getting better. That's what I want. I want you guys to feel motivated and be able to do it. Even if you're not posting anywhere. Even if it's not for a side income or anything crazy like that. Just draw to try it. It's so crazy. Or try something new just to try it. I know there's like a ton of things like um, I've never done really sculpting or 3D modeling or whatever like that. Or learning a new language or something crazy. Like it's just so cool to go and try something new. I hope this has helped you guys out. If not, hopefully you enjoyed the speed painting in the background. I don't usually like doing these talking videos, um, partially because it just, it just makes people more confused. I'm a guy, but when I put my OC up the first time, it was a girl because my old OC, the one that I actually put time in, was a girl when I was like in eighth grade. And then everybody kept saying she, and then it was just like, I'm dude, and it was just like, I know I'm just going to leave everybody alone, I'm just going to let them have it. Like, it doesn't matter to me, it's whatever. Uh, the more ambiguous, the more you can put your own, you know, persona. The more I talk, the less persona you have. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm not being too confusing. I have a habit of talking quite a bit. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. Uh, and share the video with any friends that you have. I have to plug somehow because I need to get more uh, exposure. It's what's making me a shameless, horrible plugger at the moment. <laughs> Peace out.